I want to show you how to share a folio with other people so that they can test it and see what you're working on, I guess you could say. So the idea here is that we are going to create the folio in the folio builder panel in InDesign and then share it with people. And you're not sharing the InDesign files. You're actually going to share the folio or the, well, the app that you're building essentially. A couple things to think about here. If you do have the folio created in the folio builder panel, like let's say I've got this one here and I want to share it with someone. To share it, you need to upload it, which essentially means you're going to upload it to the cloud. That means that you're not going to be able to work on it locally anymore unless you have an internet connection. So you got to think about these types of things. So for instance, I've got this folio right here. If you select the folio, come out to the menu, and then come in here and you're going to sign in. Now you're probably not signed in by default. You may already be signed in. I don't know, but I'm going to go to sign in. It's going to probably ask you to sign in using your membership. And don't worry about what I've got here. It's going to take you out. This will probably be a looking a little different in different versions, especially with uh, the newer versions of uh, Creative Cloud coming out. But then you'll be able to see everything that you have, all those that are in the cloud already, and all those that are what are called local folios. And you can see the little icon right there kind of telling you, you know, what's going on. Now, if I take a look out here, I'll see I still have my DPS Advanced right here, which is local. If I come up and I want to share it with someone, I'll come to the menu. Come up here, you'll see that, okay, we're going to take this thing and we're going to upload it to the Folio producer. This is the step where once you upload it, it is going to be up there in the cloud, so to speak, and you're not going to be able to work on it locally. So I can, you know, tell it to upload. It's going to check that everything's all good. It's going to grab all the content. It's going to upload it up there. Once it's complete, it's going to say, okay, we've uploaded everything. Upload complete. I'll click OK. And you'll see right here that it no longer has the local, that little um, disk icon or, or the, uh, what do you call that thing, a hard drive. Uh, so it means it's in the cloud. Okay, it's up there. Now, it hasn't been shared with someone. You'll see right here that this icon right there, two little people, means that it's been shared with you or you've shared it with someone else. Now, if I were to go out and say, you know, sign out, you can see right here, sign out, I wouldn't be able to work on this anymore. Because once again, it's in the cloud. Now that your InDesign files are still there, it's all still linked and everything still works. So if you do make a change, you can still, you know, update it. But okay, once you upload, I'll stop beating that point up. We come out to the menu out here and you can finally start to see share. Now you can share here or you can share from the Folio producer if you go to the Folio producer website. I'm just going to click share and you'll see, okay, tells it, you know, who do you want to share this with? I'll say, let's share it with this person. You can put uh, a bunch of people in here, comma separated. You can copy paste. I, I've asked about limits, and I think there's an upper limit currently of about 300 people or so, and that's going to go down later. Uh, that's what I've read uh, in the forums. But you can give a message to somebody if you want to. Enter a message down here. Type it in. This is going to send an email through the system, not through your local email software. And the people are going to receive a message. So if I click share... You're going to see that the icon shows up. It's being shared with people. Next thing that's going to happen is when I go over to email, you'll see that this is the email or roughly what you see here. This may change in the future, but this is what they'll see. So they'll get this. Now, a couple things to mention here. You're going to, you're going to put people's email addresses in there, and they don't, they don't have to be an Adobe ID that you're sending to. But ultimately, somebody has to have an Adobe ID to view this thing, either on their iPad or on their device, or up in the Folio producer website. So if you do send it to a non-Adobe ID, uh, I guess you could say login or email address, eventually they're going to have to create one. Okay, And it'll take them through the process here. It'll say, oh, you haven't made one yet. Let's do it. It can automatically convert their email that they have to an Adobe ID, etc. So what they're going to wind up doing is clicking on the name of the Folio. It's going to open it up and say, okay, well, you need to do this. If you don't have one, you can create one for free. And at this point, you need to have an Adobe ID to view it. This is the, the person you shared it with, okay? Now, if somebody wants to view it this way, that's great. It's viewing it through the website, but it's actually going to be pretty lame because they're not going to get a feel for what it's going to be like. They're just going to see thumbnails and just take a look at it. But if they really want to see it, what they can do is they can go to their device and they can uh, install what's it called Adobe Content Viewer. And once they have Adobe Content Viewer and they sign in or log in using their Adobe ID, it'll automatically tell them that they have a download. It will download this folio to their device. Then they can preview it within Adobe Content Viewer. That's a way to share it. I know a lot of people that will 
go out there and they have, you know, they want to share it with, let's say, a couple of people in the sales team. So they have a, an interactive sales tool, if you will, or to be able to go out and just give it to people so they can see what they're working on and do a test and get back to them with their comments or feedback. So that's pretty much it. That's how we can go out and share a folio.